helping eyes. I hope you are doing well. Today, you're covering balance exercises. I will take you through some balance exercises. Balance is one of the most important skills in our lives, but often a skill that most of us don't train as much. So to get started, let's stand up. All you need for this series will be a chair, okay, or a bench, okay, but something that you can hold if you need it to aid in your balance and stability. And in terms of our foot position, the stance that we use, you're going to try to place your feet hip width position, okay, if possible with your feet straight forward, pointing out slightly, try to avoid something like a very wide stance as with time, with ears, as we are not being able to balance as well, there's a tendency to move our feet wider, try to keep bring your feet closer together, align your feet with your hips and your knees with your second toe. From this position, we are going to start working on this dorsiflexion, this ankle movement, ankle mobility and strength is crucial for balance. So in a lateral view, you'll be raising your heels as high as you can and pull your toes up. Raise your heels and pull your toes up and we'll do this activation movement for 10 repetitions. After you finish these 10 repetitions, you are going to raise your heels as high as you are able to, hold for a second, and return, rock, raise your heel again, as high as you are able to, hold for two seconds, and return, and you build up, holding the third repetition for three seconds, Holding every rep, you're going to increase one second your hold time with your hips, your heels raised, up to 10 repetitions. After you finish that, we will have our chair. You can hold the back of the chair, feet hip width apart, hip hinge, bring your hips back, back flat, and you're going to return and do this movement for 10 reps, basically to activate this posterior chain, these muscles in the back of our calves, our hamstrings, glutes, back. After that, we are gonna bring your chair, you can walk around, and you're gonna sit in the chair, feet hip width apart, try to do not touch the back of the chair, and from this position, we are going to stand up, and sit for 10 repetitions in a lateral view. You're gonna try to move your hips back towards the chair and try your best to don't collapse in the chair. Control the movement is crucial. Stand up, keep a good posture and perform this exercise for two sets of 10 repetitions. Finish with this exercise, you can have the chair close to you, if you prefer like a, a kitchen counter, something that is sturdy. For the initial movement, you can hold in the chair. For your progression, try to do not hold in the chair if possible. And we'll work on this hip flexion, so you're gonna try to raise your knees above hip height, in a front view, in a lateral view, this movement, and you're gonna try to execute this movement for two sets of 10 reps for each leg. If possible, without holding the chair, if you have to hold the chair, that is perfectly fine. So after the hip flexion, we will work for a hip extension. In a hip extension, in a lateral view, you are going to try to touch your toes as far back as you can without arch your back, you can swing your leg forward and extend back. Try to touch your toes as far as you are able to for 10 repetitions. For progression, you're gonna try to move your legs back, but don't touch the toe on the floor. Try to stabilize if possible without holding the chair. And we'll do this movement for two sets of 10 
repetitions for each leg. After the hip extension, we are going for a hip abduction. So a lateral movement here. You can hold that chair if needed. If you don't need that chair, don't hold that chair. You're going to try to keep your alignment and raise the leg laterally, sideways here. Try to go without turning your foot. Keep your feet aligned and we're going to execute this movement for 10 repetitions for two sets of 10 for each leg, if possible, without holding that chair. If you have to hold that chair, hold that chair. Watch so you don't let your hip collapse. Work on your posture, stay nice and tall. After that, we are going to then try to draw a line. If you want to draw a line or put a tape on it, that is perfectly fine. And we are going to look to walk, a heel toe walk. We're going to walk straight forward. 10 steps if possible, depending on how much distance you have available. Then you're going to walk back, bring your heel towards toe, toe towards heel, and return to your start position. And you, you will repeat this movement back and forth for 10 repetitions, if, if possible. If you have to hold a chair while doing this movement, that is perfectly fine. And you can execute this then as you progress, closing one eye. Go the same movement pattern with one eye closed. And for your third progression, the most difficult progression, you're going to close your eyes while doing this movement. Okay. I hope that you found this sequence helpful. Uh, please let us know what you'd like to see. We are here to try to keep you your moving and staying active in these difficult times. For now, okay, stay healthy, stay active, be safe. I see you guys as soon as possible, face to face. I love you. Take care.